I hope your mama likes burning alive. Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it. where anything can be served without judgment. Now, this evening, I want to share a story with you guys that has actually been circulating on Facebook. It's about a young lady punishing her boyfriend for cheating on her. So let me get to the article of this story. I'm going to read this to you guys, and then we're going to talk about it. Now, the title of this story is Lansing Woman Charged in House Fire That Killed Grandmother and Grandkids. The story states that a 21-year-old Lansing woman is facing six felony charges in connection to a house fire that killed a 53-year-old grandmother and her grandkids. It states that the Lansing Fire Department was apparently trying to get the cause of the fire that happened on September the 3rd that destroyed the home on Elizabeth Street that killed, you know, Miss Melissa Westing and her two grandchildren. At this point, the investigation has developed into a murder case. Um, but there was more than 100 people that gathered at the funeral home and at the cemetery to show their respects for this family that lost their loved ones. So the word on the street is that Miss Abiana Williams, she thought that her boyfriend was cheating on her. So the night of September the 3rd, she texted him a message about burning his mother alive, okay? As well, that same night, a male friend allegedly told the police that he gave her a ride to the scene, dropped her off, but on the way to the scene, he claimed to have overheard her speaking to someone and saying, I hope your mama likes burning alive. That's fucked up. I mean, if you get in a position to where you know that you're going to do something that you can't come back from, you know, something that, you know, people are going to try to seek revenge or the police is going to be after you about it. You don't want nobody to hear about that. But as well, that same night, a neighbor was to allegedly told the police that he seen an African-American woman pacing back and forth in the area. And you guys know how we are. When we're pacing back and forth. That means that we're in an emotional state and we're thinking about what our next move is about to be. And I have learned myself that anytime you're in an emotional state and you have a decision that you're trying to make, don't do it. You should never make a decision when you're in an emotional state because it always turns out bad, you know? But the same neighbor stated that this African-American woman that he seen pacing back and forth, she um, asked him if he had a cigarette lighter that she can borrow. Four minutes later, the house was on fire. Now, another neighbor was allegedly to have surveillance camera footage um, that shows a young woman pacing back and forth as well. And as well can hear the sounds and the footage of the, you know, the glass popping from the fire. This person stated that this was between 11.25 p.m. and 11.38 p.m. They called the fire department at 11.45 p.m. But by the time the fire department got there, the house was already up in flame. We have lost three lives. So the family is talking now. I read an article about the brother of the boyfriend, Mr. Mike Collier. He did an interview with um, a news station there, and he stated that this is something that Abiana Williams has always threatened them to do. So he stated that at one time, Abiana Williams busted out windows that he had to fix. As well, another time, her and his brother got into it, and she had a knife, and he has a video of them fighting with the knife. Um, but 
he didn't think that she was going to ever act out, you know, on her threats or anything that she was saying that she was doing, but not until the night of September the 3rd, um, he stated that she was texting his brother about burning their mom alive. And he as well said that in this interview that he seen the text. All of this because she thought his brother was cheating. Um, that's really horrible that this is the outcome of it. So we have two families here. One family sentences is way harsh than the other family. You got a 21 year old young lady. Her whole life was ahead of her. She's now facing three charges of murder and three charges of arson. Then you have another family where they have lost three innocent lives. They can't talk to them on the phone. They can't go visit them. They can't put money on their books, any of them things. They are deceased. They can't come back from death. Now, Abiana Williams' mom is speaking up on her behalf, and I don't blame her because I'm a parent, I have children, and I'm gonna have my kids back as well. She's stating that her baby is not violent and she's innocent. She's saying that her daughter is a 21-year-old young lady. She's autistic, but she has the mind of a 12-year-older. She also stated that, you know, her daughter is the type of young lady, like if you were to go at her as if you were trying to attack her or anything, she said her baby just gonna drop to the ground and curl up. She's not gonna even retaliate. And I have um, an autistic family member, so I'm a little bit familiar with, you know, um, how an autistic individual responds to situations. And I just wanna share a story with you guys. So this family member had a head full of hair, full of hair. My sister kept his hair braided, kept it looking nice all the time but he didn't want to get it braided no more. So what he did is, is he went and got scissors and he cut his hair to the point to where he had to get it cut short like a fade. Now don't get me wrong, it looks nice, but he cut his hair because he didn't want to get it braided anymore. You know, he talked to my sister about it and he said, TT, I know I shouldn't have did that. He said, but I don't regret it. I'm gonna actually read you guys some information that I pulled up about adults with autism. So let me just see if I can find it. So common signs of autism in adults include having the same routine every day and getting very anxious of it if it changes. Taking things literally. For example, they may not understand sarcasm finding it hard to say how you feel, seeming blunt, rude, not interested with others without meaning to, finding it hard to make friends or preferring to be on your own, getting very anxious about social situations, finding it hard to understand what others are thinking or feeling, and then the other one is not understanding social rules. Now we have Miss Abiana Williams, 21 year old young lady in jail, allegedly telling the police she wasn't at the scene of the fire and she didn't set the fire. So I really hope that her family gets the assistance that they need to help this baby. But more importantly, I just really hope that God continues to carry this family that lost so many loved ones because of something they didn't have anything at all to do. You know, there's no return ticket for death. You can't come back for that, you know? And you got two families that has been hurt and I just, you know, pray that they all find a way to keep it together, you know? So thank you guys so much for just taking the time out and allow me to present this story. Please make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. As well, you can go to my website, www.kletstalkaboutit.com. On the home page, there is links to all of my social media sites. And then I have a contact us page as well, where if there's information you want me to present on my platform, we can talk about it, okay? 
And until next time, our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it. Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it.